the wrong way and the right way to bend aluminum. That take a look at the wrong way. Oh! Well, that did it. That was the wrong way, a costly mistake, screw up. Now, uh, you might be wondering what this piece of uh, metal is about. Well, this is uh, the right way to bend it in uh, the complete project. This is going to be a mounting plate for the equipment you see here. And um, X2 underwater camera, some flotation, uh, Enduro Sea Frog light and flex arm. Now, what I did is I made some successful bins, coal bins, with this material right here, which is three quarter by uh, one eighth inch, a thinner material, a slightly different alloy. I made another bend here with this item you see, a double bend because I'm gonna, I can attach another light right here. Now what I should have done is this alloy here may have been, it's thicker, it may have been, it's a slightly different alloy and it may have had more tensile strength and less yield. So when I bend it, snap. Now what I could have done when I was fabricating this and cutting the pieces out, I could have taken this scrap piece, put it in the vise and bent it, and it would have saved me all that time and effort. Anyway, I went ahead and put the time in and put together a whole new project, and I put it between two pieces of lumber like this to insulate it in the vise. Now if you take this piece of metal and you heat it, the heat will go from here to here all through it really very, very fast. And if you have it clamped in a vise, that heat will transfer into the vise and you'll lose some of your temperature. This way, by having it insulated, I'll have a little bit longer time to retain that heat and make my bend. And to make my bend, I needed to come to the right temperature. To make that, uh, to reach that temperature, I didn't have one of them fancy crayon items that you put on here and it melts at a certain temperature. But I use a trick we used years back in, when we were TIG welding this material. And I took and I heated it, and when I put the wood on there and it made a sear mark, I knew I was approximately 400 degrees. I heated it a little bit more than made the bend. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at how we made the bends. Into the, I get hot enough to you know, put this on here. When I get a sharp mark, it means I got it pretty hot. Get a little bit hotter here. Okay. When I get it hot enough to wear chars, that's a little trick I have. I learned that long, about 50 years ago, from a guy who worked in a defense plant. He could weld, he could TIG weld magnesium. That's a pretty good deal when you can TIG weld magnesium. That heat, oh yeah. I'm not going too fast. That's did it. Let it cool off slow. Pretty even. Now all I got to do is mount my equipment to it and that'll be the next video. Now if you've been watching my videos on my dive adventures and you found this video interesting and informative, please subscribe to my YouTube site.